Supreme Court has ruled against the class action lawsuit that was filed by women who worked at Walmart. Uh, the women uh, claim that because of discrimination within the company, they were unable to get promoted to manager positions and they were underpaid. You get the picture. Well, of course, unsurprisingly, uh, the Supreme Court said, no, uh, we're going to strike this down. We don't believe that this is a class action lawsuit. In fact, according to the Associated Press, by a 5-4 vote along ideological lines, the court said there were too many women in too many jobs at Walmart to wrap into one lawsuit. However, here's another claim that they made. Uh, the lawsuit failed to show a company-wide discriminatory pay and promotion policy. In other words, oh, there are so many women, countless women, claiming that there's discrimination within this company. However, they have failed to prove that this is actually happening, that it is an actual policy. Right. Like, in other words, it needs to be in the fine print in order for a class action policy to be filed. Right, right. It, it need, for the, they need to come out and say, we hate women, and that's why we discriminate against them. Okay, do we wait? Come on, who's going to say that, right? Let's look at the numbers just real quick. Um, Dating uh, from back in 2001, women uh, are grossly underrepresented among the manager level, 14% of store manager positions uh, compared with 80% of lower ranking supervisory jobs that are paid by the hour, right? So that's a big, big discrepancy. Walmart said that, well, look, in its retail stores, two-thirds of all of its employees and two-thirds of the managers uh, were women, right? So they're saying at the lower levels, it's all women working for us, so that, that's why there's a lot of managers down there. At the higher levels, come on, they're women. Now, wait a minute. How does it explain that you're not hiring women at the higher levels, that all your lower level workers are women? I, there's a disconnect. It's not like, oh, well, they're lower level. Obviously, they can't be higher level. No. If all, you have all those managers who are women, why aren't they getting promoted up? But for me... It's not about whether Walmart was discriminating or not. That You'd have to be involved in the jury and hear a lot of evidence, and I'd be very open-minded about that, and I'd want to see, you know, what can you show, et cetera, et cetera, and I don't have all the facts enough to make a decision on that, okay? For me, this is an absolutely outrageous decision because it is the Supreme Court protecting all of corporate America mm -hmm. and crushing the average worker. Why? If you cannot file a class action law school, no one is going to have enough money to get representation. See, the class action lawsuits work, brings all the workers together so that if they win, they win a big amount, so it makes sense for a lawyer to represent them. If it's just Joe Johnson, and he's in a store in Arkansas, or in this case, Mary Johnson, and she's being discriminated against, how the hell, she's making, what is she making, $9 an hour? How the hell is she going to offer, uh, offer an attorney any money? If she wins, what's she going to win? What's she going to win? A couple right. of thousand dollars? No attorney's going to take that case. You think the Supreme Court doesn't know that? You think they the do know that. You think the five justices on the Supreme Court who voted this way, and it was, of course, five to four, all the conservatives voted this way, all the uh, others voted the other way. You think those, of course they know that. And they think, excellent, we crushed the workers, and they'll never be able to file any lawsuit, right or wrong, ever again, because nobody will take their case. An enormous win for multinational corporations, an enormous loss for American workers, and business as usual in America. Right. Justice Ginsburg uh, made the exact same point that you made. And, you know, she's saying, well, look, uh, what, what are we going to do now? Basically, we're not representing the workers, the average workers, and the two women who are really pushing for this class action lawsuit say that they're not going to allow uh, this decision to stop them, they're going to continue on with lawsuits and do whatever they can uh, to create equality within Walmart. But it's going to be even more difficult than ever. And it, Look, this case, since it's already gone so far, might continue because the lawyers on it might continue to work even if they're not going to get a big paid out, et cetera, et cetera, right? Mm -hmm. But how about the next case? Right? How about the next case that isn't about Walmart, that isn't about anything else? Uh, so w what's going to happen then? Okay? Mm -hmm. so in the, you'll never hear about it. You'll never hear about it. it because somebody, somebody will go to a lawyer and a lawyer will laugh at them. Hundreds of people, thousands of people all across the country will go to a lawyer and say, hey, you know what, they're discriminating against me and, and everybody else here. They says, oh, I'm going to take up your case and win 10000 bucks." After I spend years and years and years, we're going to go all the way to the Supreme Court. It's going to cost me 100000 maybe millions of dollars, and I'm going to win, what, 5000 bucks, 10000 bucks, And they're going to tell all those people to get out of their office. And they can't. They can't take those cases. And that's it. Another huge win for corporations. 
Look, you got to understand something about the Supreme Court. Yeah, you know, they're wildly partisan, you know, so much garbage, all that wasted time and effort where they try to pretend it's about their principles, right? And, you know, conservatives do this all the time. You know, progressives, sometimes they switch positions too, right? Mm -hmm. Like the Bush case, everybody flopped, okay, flip-flopped. Uh, the conservatives who said they were for states' rights all said, screw the state of Florida, we don't give a damn about their rights, we're ending the voting right now. The progressives who said, nah, states' rights aren't that important, national issues flipped to the other side. Now, people will really disagree with me on the interpretation, they'll say progressives are right, the conservatives are wrong. Okay, I hear you. Okay, fine. And it's a, I don't want to get into that now, okay. But on the conservatives, they, there's no question. They, have, they don't care about any of their principles, okay. And I don't even care about the partisan stuff, that's what I was getting to. The, oh, there's only one issue that matters the most, and that is the strength of corporations. This Supreme Court is lockstep in favor of multinational corporations. That is their whole point. I go back to this because people don't know it. 1971, Lewis Powell, working for the Chamber of Commerce, mm -hmm. writes a memo, says, hey, you know what, uh, we're uh, trying to influence uh, politics to go in our direction so we can get you know, more favors from the government. But we're going about this the wrong way. We've got to first go get conquer the Supreme Court and then they will open up the laws that allow us to buy the politicians. Okay? Richard? And they've done that. That's exactly how it worked out. Well, here's how it worked out. Richard Nixon thought, brilliant memo, welcome to the Supreme Court. And he became Justice Lewis Powell. And Justice Lewis Powell was a deciding vote in two decisions, mm -hmm. okay, uh, that were absolutely critical. In 1976, Buckley v. Vallejo, where they say it is free speech to spend money on politics. Okay? Money equals speech. In 1978, in First Bank of Boston versus Berlotti, they say corporations have the same First Amendment rights as people, hence they can spend money on politics, and the rest has been a downward slide into oblivion. 